flipping in the videos, it's your boy Lion Something here with episode 3 of our WWF 2000. I'm gonna keep going. WWF 1996 series. That's Monday Night Raw, the go home. Stay in your house, 8. Beware of the dog. And we got this show, and then we'll book um, main of our superstars, and then we. Next episode will be the first pay-per-view in the series. But we got the show booked, and we're going to jump right into it with a 77B in front of 15,000 people in the Bradley Center. Gold Dust defeats Ahmed Johnson in 10 minutes with the Bulldog. They have great chemistry in the show in their performance. This match got the show off to a strong start in the crowd hotter. Ahmed had a 56. And Goldust had a 77, and there are no worker improvements. And that's followed up by a 76 B minus, where Paul Barra comes out and confronts onto the stage to confront Marlena and Goldust, and says, "You want a shot at my Undertaker, and you'll be willing to put that gold on the line." Well, on behalf of my Undertaker, we accept. And he just wants to remind you of one thing. That Sunday you will rest in peace. And then he does his whole oh yes thing. Where I'm not, I can't go that high. So, no worker improvements. Advance the storyline. Crowd hotter. Where, and then in a 42 Dean about the head. Terrible wrestling dogs. This crowd he just in. Bradshaw defeated Aldo Montoya in 5 na 546 by pinfall. 42 for Bradshaw, although uh, Montoya had a 31. No worker improvements. We're going to 59C, where Tatanka, so, did I get that wrong? Nope, I guess uh, Tatanka beat, uh, I booked it wrong. My bad, it's supposed to be Savia, but screw it, we're going to keep doing it. Felt that in a decent match, Tatanka defeated Savio Vega in 10 minutes with a tomahawk chop. No worker improvements. 55 for Tatanka, 54 for Savio. And after the match, see Savio celebrating, and Stone Cold comes out and runs in and attacks and beat him down. Savio is supposed to win, so Savio is in the ring. Stone Cold Steve Austin runs in and attacks him and beats him down. 47B or D. Then we got 37, 73B minus where HBK cuts a promo on the Camp Cornette on Bulldog. Oh, and Cornette even cuts a promo on Brad. Everyone in the company. Shawn Michaels improvised well. The announcement lifted the segment. Color commentary gave it a boost. Angle got the crowd hotter. And HBK came out well. No worker improvements. Where we go into a 76B minus and decent match. Vader defeats Bob Hall in 8 minutes. By pinfall. Bob Holly had a 47. Invader had an 89. No worker improvements here either. No experience. And yep, same stuff. What was the other one? Bob Holly inconsistency. Alright. And then we got a 63C where Triple H comes out to cut a promo on Mark Merrow. And out comes Sable and she like flirts with them a little bit and everything. And they go back and forth and then she's like... You know, you're blue blood. You're everything most women want. But I'm not most women. And you don't get this engine roaring. And she kicks him in the nuts and walks away. So, now it's Kali lifted the segment. Color commentary gave it a boost. Gained heat in the storyline. No worker improvements. And we get an 81B where Yoko and Vader are backstage. An argument breaks out. They start beat. They just start brawling. Everyone has to hold them apart. Yoko performed poorly. All right. Announcing. Good gimmicks. Very hot crowd. Then in a 77B, Shawn Michaels is furious about this match. By the way, about that supper wrestling good heat. Stone Cold and HBK Drew in 20 minutes following double disqualification after Salvio Vega attacked Austin. Bulldog ha attacked HBK and Owen attacked HBK. They have great performance or uh, chemistry. 
Stone Cold had a 70. HBK had a 99. Both uh, segments advanced, and the Stone Cold and Savio Vega won Green Heat. No work improvements. Uh, holding back, holding back. Booking decisions, low experience on them, and low soup. Low heat, apparently. Then at 67, C+, plus, uh, all the heels stand tall after beating down Savio and Shawn Michaels to end the show. No worker improvements. Shawn Michaels, low morale because he was mad, so I gotta give him some money at the end of the show. Increased the popularity and lost it in 11. So, we're gonna see how much money it's gonna take Shawn Michaels to be happy. Ugh. And then we're gonna go and look at Monday Night Raw or Monday Nitro at an 81, so they did a little bit better than us. ECW resigned Hoovy. Shawn Michaels Odo doesn't have it, and Bob Hawley doesn't have it. All right. Shawn Michaels give bonus of 15 on the dot. Will that make you happy? Nope, you're angry. What about another 11? Angry. 19, angry. 33, annoyed. Jesus, let's give him 100. There you go, Sean. There you go. Jesus. All right, let me look at my size because I don't want to fall. 71, all right. And eight regions, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, I'd be 65. All right, that's a lot better than I thought. So yeah, I'm not gonna fall. I'm not. In, I'm not gonna fall. National battles. They're beating us though, so that's gonna hurt us. Because Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, Randy Savage. Yeah, that's not good. That is not good. But company war, we're number one. These are all the companies in there. So, but I'll see you guys for Saturday night. And we're here for Superstars. And we got the show booked up and in front of 2200 people at the Santa Monica Civic Center in California 38 D minus terrible wrestling and non-existent crowd he Bob Holly defeats Flash Janikin in seven minutes with a drop kick killed the show I thought Bob Holly would do better 49 18 for Flash Flanagan Bob Holly's getting better in Rumble though then in 69 C plus we just get a Got the crowd interested again. It's just a video package of the Undertaker and Gold Dust ahead of uh, Sunday's pay per view. Then the 54 C minus about the Super Wrestling Little Heat 1 2 3 Kid defeat Leaf Cassidy, Al Snow, in 7 minutes by pinfall. Leaf Cassidy needs a new gimmick, so you'll see me do that. Ted DiBiase did good. Worker ringside. Oh yeah, the million dollar corporation. We'll look into that. The three kid at 58, 38 for Leaf Cassidy. No worker improvements. And then in just a poor match for two defeats King Mabel in seven and a half minutes by pinfall. King Mabel was tiring after seven and a half minutes. Jesus. Five two at a 50. King Mabel at a 42. Change the gimmick. Yup. Very good powerhouse gimmick, good. Then Stone Cold cuts a promo. 71 C plus, just a normal Stone Cold Steve Austin promo. And then a 55 C minus. Poor match, Smoking Guns defeat the Bushwalkers in nine and a half minutes. But Bart Gunn defeats Butch by pinfall. They make defense number one of their tag team championships. The Guns have 54s and the Bushwhackers had 50s. So, you know, that was a good match above everyone's uh, popularity, so that's good. And then we end it with an 85B+, plus, where it's just an HBK British Bulldog promo. Then we end it with a 62C. There's Jim 
cornet. Nope. So, Superstar, yup. So it was Leaf Cassidy, right? Leaf. Oh, because he's a superhero. Wholesome, weird, crazy. Let's do wholesome. Because I got plans for him. Do, 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 do. Let's see if we can find anything. Happy go lucky. Fan zone. Underdog. And yep. And your next show is in your house too. Beware of dog. Let's check out our storylines because you've seen them all. Based on current style, we don't have to run any, which is cool. So we have the Bonnie Donna's with the smoking gun. That's kind of two, but maybe it'll continue. HBK and the British Bulldog, 75. You got 55 for HHH and Mark Marrow, 61, 72, and 74. This is my product. What would key feature? Let's save that traditional higher assault. Nope, can't do that. I would have to change it, but this is everything. I had to change something on here. I think it might have been mainstream just to get it so that I don't have to have a million goddamn women on the show. I hate that shit, dude. But anyways, this is episode three. Episode four will be in your house. Beware of the dog. Two and a half hour show. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.